But I think it's quite incredible. I've never seen any political party have three or four MPs on a television programme at the same time putting forward three or four different views about what should happen now whilst the Prime Minister is basically under siege from her own party. But the real problem is the Prime Minister is a failing Prime Minister. However, the root cause of her failure isn't her as an individual as much of a failure as she is. It's the fact she leads a hopelessly divided party on the question of the European Union. And whoever they eventually get as leader whether it's sooner or later, that will not solve that problem. And that's why the government's in crisis and that's why the country's now in crisis. So what's Labour's position on, what's Labour's position on Europe? Well, the good news is we only had to put one person on to explain it. Our position not is really. Come that on. it's a permanent <laughs> customs union, a strong single market relationship and no reduction in workers' rights, environmental protections or in consumer rights. Yeah. That could command the majority in the House of Commons and also bring people together who voted leave and people who voted remain. The problem is it's a lame duck government that hasn't got any negotiating credibility.